let's first discuss what's occupational hazard you know when it comes to you know photography and photojournalism it's it's like you know every profession or or every job has got its ups and you know lows ups and downs uh, in terms of safety for us you know we have to go somewhere where people are fleeing from for example if there's a conflict or if there is a flood or or you know similar situation occupational safety should uh basically be a certain set of gui guidelines or trainings that should protect me or that should at least prepare me to face those situations as a photojournalist you are encountering so much you know occupational safety could include a simple or seemingly simple assignment of just a, a protest happening but you never know when it will turn ugly occupational safety ka mujhe jo lagta hai ki uh, 70, 60 परसेंट लोगों को पता भी नहीं होगा कि ये क्या चीज़ है और क्या मतलब जब मैं एक असाइनमेंट पे जाता हूँ मेरे अकॉर्डिंगली तो मुझे खुद इस मैं खुद इस चीज़ के बारे में मुझे कुछ ज़्यादा नहीं ब्रीफ होता है ज़्यादा नहीं आ, मैं सोचता हूँ इसके बारे में जब मैं किसी असाइनमेंट पे जाता हूँ अगर मेरे साथ वहाँ पर कुछ मिसहेपनिंग हो जाती है या कुछ भी हो जाता है तो ऐसे सिनेरियो में मुझे कैसे अपने आप को बचना है उससे बचने के लिए मुझे पहले क्या क्या प्रिकॉशंस लेने हैं लेकिन हम इसके बारे में बात ही नहीं करते हैं क्योंकि एक जो आ, वर्किंग कल्चर जो वर्किंग स्टाइल हम लोगों का ऐसा हम इसके बारे में बात भी नहीं करते हैं December 16th rape incident of the protesters were i mean who we were equipped a bit i mean who we were equipped with gas masks and flag jackets and and other guys weren't and so it made a lot of difference uh you know how we covered it and how news papers covered it most of the local photographers that that includes me also we we were not wearing any any kind of uh, helmet that will protect you in case something happened uh, things went wrong during the protest uh, police started shelling that's the probably the first time i saw a uh, agency photographer working very close to me standing right next to me and suddenly he was like he put out his vest and he had a helmet and 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 a gas mask and here we were you know with nothing no no helmet nothing agar hum baat kare agency photographer foreign agency photographer aur news compared to newspaper photographer to dono mein bahut huge difference aata hai kyunki uh, agency photographer ke paas proper uh, agar proper gear proper briefing proper training unka hota hai aur jabki agar newspaper ki baat kare to koi training to bahut dur ki baat hai hum baat bhi nahi karte hain photographer se ki in case agar आप किसी सिचुएशन में फंसते तो आपको कैसे उस चीज को हैंडल करना है इन इंडिया एज मीडिया हाउसेस वी डू हैव इंश्योरेंस फॉर द पर्सनल हु वर्क इन द कंपनी एंड स्पेशली द फील्ड रिपोर्टिंग पीपल बट दैट इज अ जेनेरिक वन इट इज इट्स देयर दैट इज जस्ट लाइक अ लाइफ इंश्योरेंस ऑफ सॉर्ट्स वेयर इट इज अ ग्रुप इंश्योरेंस इन अ कंपनी वेयर ओके गॉड फॉरबिड समथिंग नेगेटिव हैपेंस यू गेट अ लमसम अमाउंट but point is why should we reach that stage that is the last part of your uh, you know of the of the whole cycle the first part should be training of making the individual understand what all it entails when you are out there so th that sadly is missing uh, anywhere like you know it's not there in our uh, educational institutes that are teaching uh, media it is not there if i want to send somebody for a course or any of my colleagues for a course except for the defense correspondence course which uh, is also not exactly suited for all the scenarios that we face so i hence it for, and my in my understanding it is incomplete the agencies have always been better at it um uh, for example bird flu bird flu flu we we had to wear uh, and it was again mandatory to Wear face masks, cover your head, cover your feet. You know, it's basic. That's where newspapers they lack. They, there is absolutely no concept of flak jackets, uh, bulletproof vests, helmets, nothing. But when it comes to like, for example, stone pelting or anything, you know, and that's a lot. Of, it's like serious injury. You know, just because you've saved your head doesn't mean that you know the rest of the body is is safe. Uh, the newspaper guys just. 
have no idea about it. Either there is no idea about it or there is a lack of uh, uh, editorial or management uh, related uh, grants or it's financial law or it's just the photographer, you know, not asking for what is, what is basic. I mean, whoever has said this, that there's no picture worth your life, is, is very true. I mean, that every photographer should uh, remember that. And it's also, photography has become a very competitive, I mean, it's always been a very competitive profession. Every photographer wants to have the best image back, bring the best image. But you have to always remember that if you're not alive, you will not have the next image. When we work, we assignments, we shoot, we give our best. And how much we have to give our best for which assignment, how much we have to take a risk. This is a line draw. It's very important to have a proper briefing. Your department, your office, your seniors, you should talk about it. We should give so much effort or not. I mean, everyone tries to you know, work hard and get a prominent place on a newspaper page, especially front page. And when you are covering a f story which is big enough for a front page, then you really push harder. There are a lot of times when you can't judge if, if you're going, if you're crossing the line in a particular situation. For example, if we talk about Ravi Kanojia who uh, lost his life if, uh, because he was shooting the droughts uh, and he was, uh, he had climbed on top of a train, a water, uh, a train that was carrying water and he got electrocuted. He did not know that when he was there, he did not know that he was crossing the line. For him it was safe and for him he was just taking a shot that he should have, a shot that he thought would work for the story. Understanding is not enough at times. At times it's not like, oh I know the risk involved, no, no. You need to understand and implement certain measures so that you don't injure yourself, you don't put yourself at risk, you or, or the, if, if you are accompanied by a reporter, you don't put you know, the team at risk. The last incident happened, I think it's in the mind, it's in the mind, it's in the mind. Organizations, the uh, news uh, cameraman association, jo hai, unko, uh, I think thoda sa ek step aage lena chahiye aur uh, uh, ek kuch workshop, kuch training session aise shuru karne chahiye taaki photographer jo hai, photojournalist jo hai, wo sabhi level ki koi bhi ho, unko unko us cheez se aware hona chahiye ki jaise ek best picture lana hai, lekin best picture ek safety ke saath lana hai. Uh, we as a whole, you know. No matter agency, photographers, or, or or newspapers, or news magazine, or or you know, online photographers. So we need to sit down and talk.